that is what it is. You know, he, he's been a silly lad to, to do what he did. I mean, he can feel what he feels, but, you know, there's a time and a place to uh, to do that. If you wanted to go public on it, you know, you, you do it after training, you know, not in a pub after you've been hammered 5 nil. So there's very little sympathy out there for him. Um, and it's a shame, you know, I, I like Darren. I, I have very fond memories of Darren because when I was chairman of Sunderland, Man United needed to beat Hull on the last day for us to stay up, and uh, Darren Gibson put one in from 35 yards. So uh, Sunderland fans should remember that every time they're going to give him stick. And um, you know, watching him in his international career, he's had his injuries, of course, got injured playing with Ireland. So it's it's been stop start from for a long time. This is you know another setback, but um, I think the quicker he gets on the pitch and gets a goal or something that that you know reevaluates his whole sort of Sunderland being, that would be great for him. Um, but. You know, there was a negativity about it all. You know, it was headlines for the wrong reasons. But um, I suppose again, I point back to the performance on Friday. That seemed to be all forgotten about, and the lads seemed to be as one. And do you know, I've been I've been in a position before where people have made mistakes publicly. And mm. do you know, the players kind of are, are the ones that will get them out of it if if that unity is there. Even, you know, not saying the ones he slagged off will, but certainly you know the the core of the squad. Like you know, try and get them back on track. Have a bit of a you know, I suppose a rib, bit of rib tickling for a little while, but get him back on, on target to to deliver and give something meaningful because he's certainly a, a a player who should really stand out in the championship if he's fit and his head is right. So I hope he gets back to that.